What's something you didn't realize was optional? I didn't realize that I didn't actually need everyone to like me. One of the liberating things about being older and wiser is that if someone doesn't like you, it's their problem, not yours. This is a dangerous attitude to take up though. There's many a lonely old person who became that way by being an ass and not taking responsibility for the damage to their relationships. This is usually the sort that have themselves convinced that they don't need any relationships to be happy. Despite drowning themselves in alcohol, I didn't actually need everyone to like me. Keyword, everyone. Answering questions. My parents demanded answers to any question they asked. Didn't learn until my 30s. Watching my husband evade his parents intrusive questions. That I really did not have to answer. No one could move my mouth and make sounds come out except for me. I could nod and walk away. I could stay silent. I could outright ignore. I did not have to lie or mislead. Either. I could just not answer. You're allowed to tell them to stop asking too. The best thing I ever did was tell my dad to stop asking me intrusive questions. We fought about it, but he doesn't do it anymore. My mom won't accept that she can't ask. It devolves into the whole I'm your mother and you will respect me bullshit. So, the much easier and peaceful way out is to answer the question in the way she wants to hear it and move on with my life. Truth. Lies. Who cares? I'm a self-supporting adult and answer to no one but myself. Spending a lot of time, effort and money buying gifts for family who are, don't appreciate them, b, re-gift, return or exchange them, c, have no use for them, d, never thank you for them. I quit exchanging gifts for family about 15 years ago, and my holidays have been stress-free ever since. I did this years ago, because I simply didn't have the money, and then just continued it, because nobody seemed to notice, lol. Everyone in my immediate family has decided that we only buy presents for the kids. Everybody else just buys themselves the things they want. Because we're adults and we can afford to make our own $10 to $50 dreams come true. There was a while when birthday cards had lottery scratch cards in them in lieu of gifts. Which was kind of fun. But the new nothing seems to work pretty well. My favorite thing about holidays is not trying to figure out what other people want. We went a different direction in 2019 where we wrote down 3 things, all totaling under $50, and put your name on it, and throw it in a box. We would randomly grab one, and keep it secret and that was your secret Santa. It didn't work, because people weren't specific enough on their requests or the reader misunderstood the request, and got upset that the item they received wasn't what they wrote down. Like I wrote earbuds. Someone bought me biggest chunky headphones which are not the same thing, and not ideal for running with lol. Mistakes like that. Also someone accidentally put their request in twice, because their mother put it in for them thinking they hadn't done it. So the host just bought for two people, to make sure everyone was covered. That guy, late teen who participated innocuously, ended up with two copies of the game he wanted, and a shitload of gummy bears. Also last year we switched to just buying gifts for kids and the wealthy people in the family. We have two, buy everyone a basic bitch gift like a dollar sign 5-10 box of chocolates or something everyone gets an exact copy of. Last year I saved up money to do this as well, and ended up getting everyone a gift bag full of random candies. Hand sanitizer. Wet one sanitizer wipes. And a cloth washable mask. It worked out well. Negotiating your pay during reviews. Yeah I love that point of the interview. I aim high. See what they come back at. If you're good at something. Don't do it for free. I got fired from my last job when I tried that. They didn't fire you for that. It was a pretense. They do when they know they can hire someone else cheaper and there are no particularly rare skills involved. Then it was a pretense. The real reason was that there was a cheaper worker. Caring about blood relatives. Still trying to figure out if I'm a bad person for not wanting my mother in my life. But she has given me little reason to want her around and many reasons to say goodbye. All I would miss is the rest of her side of the family. My mom was a hard person to be around. I moved around 1400 miles away for work and after her first visit she was banned from staying at my house for several reasons. 
if you have mixed feelings you can start by setting healthy boundaries first before going no contact. Are you me? Every time she comes to visit, I get to remind her no. You are not allowed in my home because you do not respect me. Apostrophe. My brother whom lived near her had to literally stop answering his door for a while. She would show up all times of the day announced and wouldn't leave. Sounds like all the great reason for a restraining order and dial to sheriffs every time they show up. Wanting children. The arguments against having pets just don't seem to apply when it comes to having a child. You shouldn't get a dog because it's smelly. It's dirty. It's expensive. It relies on you for everything. It takes over your life and you need to fit yours around it. You need to monitor its welfare. Feed it. Take it for medical appointments. Exercise it. You can't leave it alone for too long. You need to train and discipline it. You might find it won't do what it's told etc. What a total hassle that is. Same applies for kids. Yet kids are apparently mandatory and your life isn't considered a success without them. A few years ago, I was 29 and had been married for a year. My husband and I were talking about adopting a dog. My mom told me not to because it was too much responsibility for us to handle. Poor decision. Etc. So I brought up that she was hounding us to have kids, but she thought a dog was too much responsibility. Shocked Pikachu face. We adopted the dog. I got sterilized at 22 because I don't want kids, and I was told I'm too young to make that decision. Nobody batted an eye when my mom had me at 18. I'm 32 and have been thinking about getting snipped since I do not want kids. I'm single now, and it feels weird to do it without any potential life partner involved. But also wanting kids is a huge, huge deal breaker for me. This is stupid, but recording a dormitory readings, and how much gas you buy. Growing up, every time we filled up the car, my dad, an extremely meticulous engineer, would write down the dormitory reading, how much gas he bought, and how much he paid for it on the receipt. He had my mom do the same thing when she filled up the car. I assumed this was something required of adults. Like doing taxes. Once I had my own car, I did the same thing for a long time. Until I realized that not only was this data not required by the government, but literally nobody except my dad cared. It felt surprisingly liberating to just throw the receipt in the trash or the glove box and forget about it. My Phil did this. I found out that at one point, he had a car that had a broken fuel gauge. He didn't know it was broken and ended up stranded on the side of the road for two days or something. From that day forward, he always meticulously tracked the mileage when filling up. Exactly this. I drove a beater and the gas gauge was unreliable. So I started tracking mileage and fuel amounts, not prices, though, so I could get an estimate of how many miles I could go on a tank of gas. Back then when gas was cheap, under $1 slash gallon, I'd go road tripping several times a month. And I really needed to be aware that my gas gauge lied, and I had to rely on the odometer to know when to fill up. Oh man. $1 gallon. That's stupid cheap. Where I live, it hasn't in a while now. It went up to $1. 71 Canadian dollar slash L. Too lazy to do the conversion, but just looking at the two that's a crazy difference. Damn. Isn't that like $6? 46 Canadian dollar slash gal, or is my math wrong, and it's half that? Pregnancy and having kids. Yes, I'm serious. Until I was taught better by my therapist, of all people, at age 16. I really did not know pregnancy isn't something that just happens. All I got from my family was the stay away from boys speech. I wasn't taught how it happens. So I lived in fear I'd wake up pregnant one day and could do nothing about it. It was a huge relief when my therapist explained otherwise. Yeah. Sex ed didn't exist in the schools I attended. And I went to four school districts. NJ. 1999. 2013. Though. My family still treats it as something inevitable. Which I feel explains a lot about my family's circumstances. Now you have an excuse for when they ask why don't you have kids. Oh I guarantee they don't care about excuses. It's all never talk to a boy. I don't want you dating. Focus on your career right up until she moves out then it's have you found someone nice? Why can't you just settle down? 
you're not getting younger. Having an opinion about something. Sometimes you just don't know. Does God exist? IDK are humans destined to fail at governing one another. IDK is cereal soup. IDK. And when asked about something. Don't BS an answer. I don't know. Is a perfectly valid response. Or there is an answer. I just don't know it off the top of my head is also fine. I'm a big fan of I have no clue. Let's go see what drive. Google has to say, although as an Aussie I may have to change that to I have no clue. Let's see if Bing also has no clue. I'm 36 years old. Last week I went out for work drinks and discovered you could have margaritas with sugar around the rim. I thought salt was the only option. Incredible. Game changing revolution. The sugar was delicious BTW. Work drinks? Where do you live where you're lucky enough that the pubs are open? I wish I could publicly post my location, but I'd like to keep that private. But oh man it was fucking amazing. I don't like drinking at home. It makes me feel like I have a problem, so I haven't had booze since February 2020. Me and my healthcare colleagues got the vaccine, so we felt pretty good about things.